Hey everybody, I hope you've all had a great day so far. Um, yeah, mine's gone pretty well. Then really to uh, talk about, just a boring, productive day, but yeah, I can't complain about that. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. We're still going to work on Egg Dino model, which we've been doing for the past couple days. I have this um, concept art I drew up real quick in Inkscape, and so far I've done pretty made pretty good progress on making the model. I think the nose is pretty much done, and so is the foot. Uh, tonight I hope to finish the leg and the tail and maybe even the eggshell. I'd love to get to some texturing, but I don't know. That might be a little bit wishful thinking, but we'll see. Okay, so at this point I think we need to turn off mirroring because the leg is going to um, and not be mirrored anymore because I think it's going to turn inward slightly. Oh, yeah, and also I'm going to need to move it back under the shell so I can get a better look at it. Oh, hey, XL, good to see you again. How are you doing tonight? All right. Um, okay, so to do that, I need to switch to object mode and apply this mirror effect. Now, if I switch back to edit mode, I'm just going to test to make sure that these um, vertices did merge. And it looks good. about like right here that's so good basically we have a line that goes down the center so I don't think that I should have any problems but all right good to hear all right so now if I select this whole thing um uh, what was the command to select a contiguous area? Blender select nearby vertices. Hit control L. Or I can press control numpad plus. I have to have blender focused, of course. Yeah, that's pretty cool, but I can just press Control L because I want to get this entire foot object, and now we'll try to move it into position. First, let's um, get it right position from this angle. Then uh, we'll switch to not over head. Cool. So something like that. Looking at the concept art, I've noticed I think the foot is much bigger than um, I have it in here. No, not much bigger, but slightly bigger. So I could scale it. I guess we can see how that looks. That's what I want to do. I want to constrain it. It's only the Z and X, so I'll press Shift. Or I said backwards. I want to constrain it to Y and X, so I'll press Shift to Z. I want to make it small. We'll look at it head on. What about if I apply a mirror here? Let's so I can see both feet at the same time. I switch back to object mode. Okay. And now tab to switch back to edit mode. Another thing is it needs to be right here on this line. Okay, so now it's clipping into the shell, so I have two options. I can either make the feet less high or move the shell up. I think the shell is just too close to the ground. Okay. 
Okay, so to fix that, let's select the egg. Alright, and I'm in object mode, so edit mode. Control L. That upwards. And that looks pretty good, I think. And now I need to do the same thing with the, the nose. And I guess also here. Like that. Although I guess the nose doesn't matter as much because we need to fix this um, the hole in the eggshell to actually um, wrap around the head. But okay, so now we're ready to go back to the feet. I think this placement looks good. I really don't need to do much to the legs because you can't see them a whole lot. But right now they look too much like just robot feet, so they have a little bit of shape. Can I just hide the egg? Okay, I wasn't sure if that would work because I thought maybe it would... Um, uh, what's the word? Like this would propagate down to the children objects, but thankfully it doesn't. They're also a lot higher than we need, but that doesn't really make any difference. Now I'll press A to deselect everything, and we'll just get these top vertices and move it down a bit. Fine. Okay, so let's uh, make a uh, edge loop. Here and maybe if we make it kind of bow outward slightly. So shift Z, scale, give it a little dimension. And probably, actually, instead of scaling it, I should maybe just move this out a little bit because. Usually the legs are thicker on one side. I would think anyway. Maybe also the front come out slightly. I'm trying to picture an ankle right now. Uh, let's look at Rex feet. Okay, well, this isn't that helpful because your Rexes have distinct toes, but they definitely, yeah, and the actually walking on its toes, whereas our dinosaur is more walking on its feet like a human, which is. Anatomic, anatomically incorrect, but <laughs> I'm just doing it for the design because it looks better. Um, so I guess we don't really need that. Look at a human ankle. Of course, there's a human or the ankle bone, but that's not really part of this. So it starts thin and then it does widen. But I kind of did that, like this whole loop. Um, I thought it was just alt right click. Yeah, there we go. That looks pretty good, actually. I guess there is the question, how am I actually going to animate this thing walking?
Maybe I won't walk. Maybe I'll just actually like hop. That would work fine because our game is like tile based anyway, so it doesn't really need to walk between the tiles. So I'm just going to move some of these other vertices out so that it doesn't look quite so straight. That's really all I need to do for the legs. And then we'll come back to them when we mold the hole around the egg. I think that I'll need to open this up a little more so that the legs can at least move slightly forward. But uh, I'll get to that later. Alright, so now we're ready to do the tail. It should really be pretty simple. Um, we'll need to create another object, so I'll move into object mode and create a cylinder. Over there. And I want to set it to 000. zero, zero. And again, we'll probably only need or eight vertices. The tail is so small, I could actually probably get a, away with even less. Maybe I'll make it six to be a hexagon. Oh, I don't know. None of the rest, like everything else, has eight sides. I think I'll keep it at eight just to be consistent. I don't know how much it will matter, but I'll actually be. Very small. Uh, probably even thinner than that, actually. And okay, the depth is fine, we'll edit that. I think. Uh, what kind of fill type do I want? I actually would want a triangle fan because I'm going to. Uh, um, make points like I do with like I did with the toes and the fangs. So that's gonna let me generate that. I might as well use it. Okay, and now I can move. First, let's rename this to um, tail, and I'll parent it to the egg. There we go. And, uh, okay, so now we're ready to go into edit mode. Everything's already selected, so I can move around vertices. It'll just, uh, come out of this hole. Oh, well, thanks, Randall Ray. I appreciate your host. Yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for that. I really appreciate it. Okay. Um. All right. So I guess we'll start by just um, making a whole bunch of edge loops and kind of it'll shrink as it goes up higher. Oh, finishing up your model. Okay, I'll have to go look and see what you made. Alright, thanks again. You have a good night, too. I guess I'll bring this up. And, uh... So, edge loops. Let me try to remember. Get my mind back on track. Let's control R. Ooh, a custom PC desk case. That sounds really cool. Gonna uh, uh, 3D print it or all 
Alright, so what is this? I always forget. Alt right click and I'll scale it. Um, not on the Z, so just shift shift Z. Um that's not doing anything. I think I pressed Ctrl Z instead of Shift Z. Uh, but it won't scale on the Z anyway because uh they're all have the same Z position. Also I to bring these down. Well, just like that. Ooh, woodworking, that's even cooler. I've always loved um, like woodworking and carpentry, but never really had a chance to try it out. That's really cool that you're gonna make a case like that. Oh, I'm sure you'll get there. Alright, um, looking at the concept art, I wanted to kind of wave back and forth. So I think the best way to do that is I'll just add a bunch of edge loops here and make it straight first with the, uh, um, what's the word, graduating size, and then I'll uh, move them all around to make it wavy. Custom dust that will hold PC under glass and LEDs. I'll definitely keep a lookout for, a fin for the finished project. Okay, so let's scale this. I don't have to worry about pressing Shift Z because, again, since they all are on the same. Z plane, they're not going to scale um, in the Z direction anyway, so just skip a, a key press there. Um, do I have too many? Was uh, I think you hold Shift to make it more sensitive or less sensitive, I should say. Then I remember, need to remember to left click before I release. And I think. I think Steph the kitty cat. Oh, everybody's hosting me tonight, I feel really special. I'm just being picky about the circle um, sizes here. I don't know how much detail I need to do at this point. I feel like here, like, these are way too thin up at the top. Maybe I should just delete them. Or maybe that scales too fast. It's going to even be hard to select that edge because it's too thin. This should really just be up here, like that. And then these will stay about that distance. You know what, I should probably actually... I need to think about modeling the tail just straight like this and then we'll use the animation bones to curve it. I need to think in terms of like a T-pose. So yeah, actually, I just need to get the distances between these different edges correct. And then when we add the animation bones, then we'll be able to move each joint and have it wave around as we ever we want. I'm glad I thought about that before I started modeling in the, the curvature.
So I guess I should have spaced these kind of evenly apart. And now just try to make them... Um, kind of a cone. This would probably be easier actually. Yeah, and there's a better way to do this. Let's select all these edges. Oh. Now if I delete dissolve edges. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. I think it's that's a bit of a shame. It's selecting all these vertical edges as well when I actually just wanted the rings. I guess I'll just have to do it one at a time. Nice thing about this is that um, it'll already be um, smooth gradient, and then I can just add back in the uh, the edge loops. Let's um, just do front on like these and just this up as high as I want. It deselected the entire ring. Now I can actually use animation bones to shorten the tail too if I want, but I mean there's no reason to make it much longer than all the final project or final product because I can't can't talk tonight. So if this was straight up, it go it'd probably go up about right here. That's maybe two thirds the height of the egg. Okay, this is um actually might be much perfect. I don't have to get it exact, but it's fine. I mean, it'll always be easy to make the tail longer because I can just scale it in the Z direction since it'll be pointing straight up for now. Let's just add some edge loops and we'll call it a day. Little R. Much in the center. Actually, we'll want to have like one here and one here. So instead of splitting this into fourths, I'll do this part into thirds. Something like that. And that should really be all we have to do for the tail. Um, I guess I can delete these faces on the bottom side. Hide, egg, and now I'll make it take again and roll tab, select, uh, select faces, and we can just delete these. And there we go. Okay, so that was pretty simple. But I mean, the, I mean, the tail has nothing on it. It's just a, a cone, and all the movement will come when we animate it with the bones, like I said. I think it looks fine. I mean, those are tails. Well, actually, the back side of the tails have um, a different color, but not in this design. And they're actually kind of flat too, I just realized. So maybe we should work just a bit more on this. Get above view. 
scale it, but not on the y direction, so shift. Actually, let's just do only on the x. Let's make it a little wider. Not what I was going for, I don't think. I think what I actually need to do is move the these two edges backwards. So let's select or deselect everything and then Oh, it's because I'm in face mode. I move this back. So basically I just want the back side to be slightly um slightly flatter. Maybe a better way would be to scale it. Pull them apart like that. Select this. Instead of just moving it, let's scale it on the Z direction. Uh, what is going on there? That's actually is not gonna work. Didn't like it when I scaled it. Um, we'll just move it back after all. Now I need to recenter the center um, vertex. Um. I feel like it's still too circular. Oh, that's gonna make some weird shapes up top. I don't know, I probably shouldn't look at it from straight on. That's not nobody's gonna see the tail like that. Be the not too circular on the front now. Straighten that up. I don't know, I think that's good. But move back slightly. There's the camera. Scaled on the x axis. I think that does look better. Makes it not quite the cone. All right, I'll call that done for now. So let's move back to the egg. First thing we started with will be the thing we'll end with, at least when it comes just plain modeling. So the egg is actually going to be pretty complicated. 
the final version, I think. Because we're going to need to create a bunch of faces around the cracks. And I think it will be difficult to keep nice grid structure. So I'll just need to be careful with it. But I think I'll start by moving this vertice down. I guess also before I do anything, I should make sure that the placement of the head is where I want it to be. So imagine that the dinosaur's head comes up to about here. Maybe it should move just slightly down. Belly, legs attached right there. It's a short dinosaur, so it is a little baby, so it is mostly head. Okay, um, well, no, I was going to say I should mirror the egg, but no, the eggshell should definitely be asymmetrical because the cracks aren't going to be symmetric, so. Okay, so here I kind of went just a simple route instead of having like a bunch of jagged inward pointing spikes. So maybe I'll try and do that here. So maybe I do have enough points to just move these around. Uh, but that distorts the egg's shape. I think that's going to be the problem here. Yeah, whenever I move these vertices, it's going to change the shape of the egg. But I mean, that's the nature of it. I need to watch that closely. What happens if I try to add a edge loop? Nothing bad, it's just I need to add a cut there for the base. But I might not need to. Well, I want to pull this down for sure, so I can either move this vertice here or try and make another vertice to pull it down. I think I should try to. I know I keep going back and forth, but. I should try and keep the eggshell as round as possible, so if I want to change this, I need to make probably another base here. This. Could stay pretty close to here, but I guess when I animate the head, I mean the nose will kind of poke out so it can bite. So there should be a little extra room on the eggshell for the jaw to open. I think I just thought of a better way to model this. I'll leave this and then I'll select this edge loop. I actually don't think there's an easy way to do it. If I press Alt, right click. Oh, okay, I did select that. Edge mode and Alt E to extrude. To scale this inwards. Now I have a complete Another set of edges I can work with. And it's going to keep this nice smooth eggshell for the rest of the body. Back to 
to vertex mode. I guess one problem is that it is too close to the jaw. That makes me think I should just delete these two faces here. Let's try this one more time. Alright, so now Alt right click. Oh, gotta be in edge mode. Alt E. N words. And now they're like, it's all inset, which I don't really want. I'll just move it outward and, and fix the egg shape later. So now I can move these pretty much anywhere I want, and I have plenty of room. The middle should probably be the lowest point because that's like where the jaw would brush with the shell the most. Okay, and then here I need to definitely move this away. So I'm just going to need to keep on switching the views until I can kind of see what's going on. Problem is, it's looking pretty symmetrical. I guess the bottom here is pretty symmetric, I just have this little divot there. I don't have to copy it exactly, but I think that design looks pretty good. I think I might need more edges. Yeah, because it's clipping right there. This far up. Then we have other problems. I think instead of like adding another edge loop and potentially complicating the eggshell, I'll just create a triangle here. I mean, it is shattered, so it doesn't have to be completely smooth. So I'll just cut the knife, make another edge. That way I can move down a bit. Really a tight fit right here. All right. I'm gonna get the silhouette. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, is this because so far forward? I think kind of a weird effect here. move outward. What's going on? Okay, maybe I just need to add another cut right here, I think. Not gonna let me. Oh, 
Why? Why not? Blender. This is one face, right? So it's just bent too much, but I don't know why it's not gonna let me. Why it's not letting me cut between these edges? Not exactly what I wanted, but. I'm just a mess with tools. I don't know what they do. I don't want to do that at all. Oh, well, that's a cool effect. What do I do for a living? All right now I'm actually trying to make games for a living. Just started uh, seriously doing it a couple months ago and um, hopefully my first game will come out pretty soon. I also do just uh, programming uh, contract work. I don't understand. <laughs> Thanks, Exhale. That's nice of you to say. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how my game is going. I wanna, um, I wanna get to a point where I feel comfortable actually streaming it during the daytime or streaming uh, development during the daytime. So. I know I've been saying I want to do that for quite a while, but it's just not ready yet. Now I don't know why it let me build it there, but not at this point. But if I do have this point, does that... I mean, it's, a, it's this triangle right here that I'm trying to get rid of. And it would work if I could just make something else here. The reason I don't, uh, it's just, um, right now I'm not doing very interesting things and it's, or it's just something I can't chat and work on at the same time. Like, uh, the project that's almost complete, I'm doing, like, optimization and just balancing, and I feel like it's either uh, difficult or boring to stream, so. But I am almost done with it, so. So if I Alt-M... Merge at center. That's what I wanted to do, but it was a lot more steps than just cutting. I don't know why I didn't like the knife tool, but... Ever? Okay, so yeah, obviously I'm just kind of uh, growing... Trying to keep these quads to the wind, but... I don't think it's going to be possible with the geometry I'm working with. Agree 100%, yeah. Some things I don't think are really good to stream, but I like I really like streaming just uh, like system gameplay programming because um, it's not super intensive on the algorithm side, but um, I don't know, I just think it's more fun to program, so it tends to have a better streaming atmosphere, or I guess better atmosphere for streaming. So I just realized nostrils are actually, well, I mean, the nostrils, I guess, are kind of deformable, so it's okay if they're slightly bigger than the hole. I guess that makes sense. Okay, so now what I want to do, I want to make it asymmetrical, so I think the hole on the right side will be slightly taller, or higher up, I guess I should say. That should not be centered. That over, probably.
getting the weird uh, triangles here. That's the, it's clipping the tight fit. I almost feel like I should. I just don't want to mess up this edge because it. I want it to stay nice and um, clean for the rest of the egg. Um, actually, I just cut another edge here. See if it will let me. It seems to be fine with that. It just doesn't like to cut the two vertices, which I don't really know why. Maybe they have a, another specific tool that I just don't know about. Over. Okay, so now I'm wondering... Well, this looks fine, but is there a better way to handle it? Well, I think just because of this weird shape, how it's going to have to be. Ideally, I'd like all the triangles to come from one point, but... Uh, well, actually, before I go any further, I should see how this looks in Unity. Fine. Yeah, I like it. Just making sure there wasn't any weird divots. That's a bit strange, but I think I just need to pull this one outward slightly. Some edge fighting right there. Like it, on certain angles, you can see behind it. Right there, but it might just be the wireframe view. I don't know. I turned off that. Uh, yeah, you can't see the other face, so it's just the wireframe renderer. I guess I should look at it without the wireframe, because that's how it's going to actually look in game. I think it looks pretty good actually. Alright, so do I want to just more? Uh, pull this one to kind of counteract that side. Probably out. And now we're getting weirdness, so I need to cut here. Will it let me? Oh, that time it let me. I don't know, the knife tool is just a bit strange. I should read up more on it because I don't understand the problems it has, but. Yeah, so this uh, triangles, these triangles are a bit weird. Just uh, in general, I would avoid trying to make triangles like this, but it works for this model. Alright, so I could spend a long time trying to make this perfect, but let's um, on for now. Now, I want to make a back to it so that in Unity you won't be able to see behind the model, but when we texture it, we'll make it all black, so you won't really be able to see anything. 
and it can just be a simple box basically. So I'll select that edge loop and backwards only on the Y axis. Okay, I'm just going to bring it out all the way so I can actually see what's going on. Now I wonder, it'd be nice if I could make this flat. I wonder if there's a way I can set them to have the same Y um, position. Let me see. Blender set vertices to have same Y coordinate. Of the snap tool. Or I can use a scale tool. Okay, so let's just select this loop and the scale Y and then the zero. Yeah, that works. Now we'll just create a face. Do I want to even bother triangulating this myself? I don't think it matters. Now if I move this back. Go somewhere right here. I wanted to save, so control S. Now if we look in Unity, it'll finally close up back of the egg. And then of course when we texture it, it will be black. But now you can't see through it, finally. I guess the question is, do I want to just leave this edge? I was going to say maybe we should extrude inward, but I don't think I have any room to do that. Also, real eggs, the shell is very thin, so it's not like there'd be any depth to them. So I think this is okay. Uh, let's try it. That was really easy to extrude those back so it's not like I lost any work. I'll just un now we have this and I'll press Alt E and scale them just slightly inward. I don't have any room here so I need to be careful. And now I'll just move them try to get green arrow. Slightly back Or even slightly outwards, as when uh, when it pushed the nose through, then it would have cracked the shell outwards. So yeah, I think that's better actually. Although that doesn't really fix the issue of having a sharp corner when I extrude back. Go inward. I want to, I should move these vertices outwards more if I want that other effect. And let's do it one more time. Me on the Y. Okay, and now scale. Y0 to flatten and press F to create a face. That little detail does um, it look better. So we have the old model here in Unity and now I save it. 
look. Yeah, I think that little detail was worth it. Probably mess with these edges forever. I do need to fix that clipping right there. So I'll turn that off. That's so I moved that, so now these aren't completely matching up, but it's not like it matters. Okay. Now I need to do the same thing for the feet. I unfortunately have to do each individually, I think. Turn back on. And if I turn off the feet, well, first we can see the legs clip through both. Well, it's really tight, but really I should delete pretty much everything down here except for these two faces and then rebuild the rest i guess i can leave those i'll turn them off just so i can see what's going on Tab face delete basically all these that one Well, do I want to just outright delete them? Because I could pretty much... I want to use the same... I don't really have to worry about making the egg down here completely round because it's um, not going to be as noticeable as the front here, so I might not need to extrude while keeping this clean edge. So maybe I could get away with just moving vertices along this line here. I don't know. I don't think it really makes much difference. So Alt. Oh, I need to be in edge mode. And I'll select this and I kind of want to keep this part natural just because it is on the front so it's more noticeable. But that does make it not a distant open circle. I'll just extrude this and scale it forward. And if I move to which I do control tab vertex, need to change these so they don't clip the legs. Under. Did I? I don't really want to delete this face. 
I think I'll keep it like this, but... This is a tight fit right here. Oh, I can add... Doing... Going backwards. I'm gonna do this. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Now I just move this outward to give the legs a little more room. Here, I do want to have a bit more room in the front so that when I animate the legs, they can kick a little bit forward. So I don't want to close them in too much. Like that. Now here, I'm going to need to add a lot more geometry because we're going to have to wrap Round and connect up to here. So this is the center bottom. So I actually want to do something that extrude these faces, I guess, and then connect down here. Well, it should be more of a strip instead of like triangles. So maybe I can actually delete these edges. Yeah, I should delete these triangles actually. Tab select faces because I want to. Instead of having everything meet at one center point, I'm just going to bring like a, I guess a ribbon of faces to connect back up here. So I'll select. Oh yeah, that's fine. Oh, I did mess this up a little bit because I didn't extrude. How would I fix this? And I guess I should just merge vertex with that one. Oh, uh, well, can't I do something where it'll merge with the first selected? Alt M, merge at first. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. And so now I could just select this face and extrude back. Or select these edges, I should say. Alt E to extrude. Flat on the Y. And I guess uh, Shift or S to scale. Y zero, flatten that. And I should scale it on the X just to make it slightly less wide. Back. That doesn't matches up kind of with the top, but I mean nobody's really going to be looking under here that closely. Alt E, food again. Now I need to extrude one more time and join the faces. Okay, so let's 
let's shift back to vertex mode. Or actually, can I just merge edges? I don't know if that works. Oh, kind of, but it won't let me like say first selected, so I won't do that. on this side at all really so I'm not going to worry about that yet. Now it's starting to look pretty good. But so I've kind of created a hole for the feet now and I guess I should have waited to extrude. I'm going to want to extrude another time here I think. Um, I think the quickest way to fix this is just delete that face and uh, select these vertices and merge them. Like I said, I don't want to edit this line. I can help it. So Alt, right click. To E, scale inwards. Although this is already really close, so. Yeah, yeah I think I messed this up. I extruded too early. Full tab. Uh, I think all I need to do to fix it is just delete these faces here. Now, um, uh, should I delete this one? Yeah. Now it's just a normal egg shell. Vertex is really out of place, but that's good enough. Now, if I now I think I'm ready to extrude. Oh, took the wrong thing, I think. Okay, so I have the same issue here, but I can just, again, create a triangle if I need to to bring out this edge, and I think I do. Wow, it actually let me cut all in one wipe. How's that looking? Um, it's a bit weird. But it gets the job done. Have you ever tried tile art? You mean like uh, actual ceramic tiles or like tiled pixel art or something like that? I have done, uh, oh yeah, pixel tiles. Okay. Yeah, I've done that before. Um, I actually love pixel art, <laughs> but not ceramic tiles. Okay, well, I was just making sure. That would be pretty fun too, actually, but um, yeah, I actually 
I really like to do pixel art as well. Most actually, this is one of the first uh, fully 3D games that I've um, made in a while, but most of my games aren't. I've never really worked with a tile set because this the genre I have made before. It was not like uh, predisposed to have that kind of level design, but. I think it'd be fun to work with. Just started, it's really fun. Yeah, I need, should get back into it. Just I'm trying to work more in 3D. I enjoy a lot too, but I don't know. There's something really nice about the simplicity of pixel art. Like, how long has been going on for like 20 minutes. Okay. I think I'm getting there. This is actually a little simpler than I, or a little easier than I thought it would be. Um, do I like the opening here? Okay. And again, since this isn't like front and center, like the crack around the nose, doesn't need quite as much detail. I could probably just mirror it, but I'm not sure if that would be an easy way to mirror just the bottom half of the egg or not. I think I'd have to break it into a different object. I'm not sure if it's worth all the trouble. But I mean, not that difficult. And then I don't think um, I'll worry about doing this uh, last extrusion with this little detail because it won't be noticeable on the legs. So I'll just click that and Alt E to extrude edges. And this time we'll want to move it on the Z axis. And then I'll just press F to create a face, and I think that's good enough. So um, let's look in Unity. Is that just a rendering? Not sure if this is actually clipping through or if it's a problem with the rendering, because it happens there as well. Right here I can see this isn't round enough, it should come out slightly more, but yeah, it looks fine actually. Oh, this is the wrong side, the unfinished side. Yeah, I like it. Um, I think that's good enough. I mean, I could uh, do that little decorative um, edge or border right here, but I'm just going to add triangles and I don't think anyone will be able to see it. So, is that better? That was one problem I saw. I think that keeps the egg shape a bit more. I wonder if we should make the top of the egg also flat, like I did here. I don't know. Okay, so now let's work on this other side, and I need to delete some of these triangle or some of these uh, faces so that I can extrude. Okay, and now Alt. Oh yeah, I gotta be in edge mode. I always forget that. Alt E to extrude, and 
scale it in a little. I don't care if it's completely symmetrical, so I'm not going to worry about mirroring it. But it will have a bunch of the same patterns, because like right here I'm going to need to cut triangle in here so I can move the slip away from the leg. Go into vertex mode, pull that outwards very slightly. This up. Uh, let's I turn off the feet so I can see. Try and make these similar as I can. Oh, so that's what I gotta remember. They're mirrored. takes a lot more concentration than I thought, I'm sorry. Commentary's kind of falling off, but... Okay, there we go. I think this looks pretty good. So now if I turn the heat back on, and let's look... Look at the shape here in the front, because that's going to be what's most... Looks pretty round. Part should come down a little. Back. Divot right there. They're not completely symmetrical, and that's okay. Go upwards. Probably goes too far inwards. Uh oh, it was clipping a bit on the leg. That looks better. He should move out actually. A little bit. Like that. And I could probably fiddle with these vertices forever, but I need to stop myself. I'm just going to look for any weird divots. Right there is kind of strange. He kind of changed some colors on my pixel art character when I imported. Any idea why that might happen? So, let me think. Did it like change? Like, is it really drastic or just a slight recolor? Because that could mean two separate things I can think of. Right, I'm pretty happy with that. If it's a slight recolor, you might see if I have any textures in this project. Oh, right. You can go and uh, make sure this sRGB is um, checked.
the slight recolor and just in some places. Is it in the, uh, well, it could be the light. Although, oh, you did that already. I think. Yeah, I don't really have any sprites set up in here. Okay, texture's not configured to generate sprites. But, um, yeah, it could be the shader you have, although the default shader shouldn't do anything strange. Well, if you want to um, post screenshots or something in uh, Discord, that might help me figure it out for you, or at least point you in the right direction. Okay, um, so let's get back to this, and I'll just extrude it. Uh, what do I want to do? Not Y, I want to extrude it on the Z coordinate and just make it go upwards. And I'll just cap it off in a face. Um, about the same height, but it's not very imperative. Okay, so I think good there. I'm almost out of time, but I want to try and finish this up. So we'll make the opening for the tail, which is going to be pretty easy, I think. Especially since now we know a good way to do it. So I'll just select this edge ring and um, Alt E. Extrude the edges and scale it inwards. Let's kind of move that over to be around the tail. This. I want to make it a little bit metrical, but kind of so small it will be a bit difficult to do. That around. Okay. Yeah, I think we might already be done with this. That was pretty simple. Try and keep this round as I can. This should up a little, I think. It should match the slope. A bit hard to tell, but... Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, let's look. Tail. So we'll have a bone, like, come out here and just kind of slightly wave it around. And then another one will bend this part. So I'm just kind of thinking about how the tail will move and if I need to open this hole up anymore, but I think that's kind of fine. So now Alt, right click, and I think I will make a little decorative border here. There we go. Just because it's, like if you ever look at the back, you'll be able to tell that there's this hole here, unlike the feet where you won't ever really see the character from underneath. Might have to widen this hole just a little bit because these. 
the margin between the tail and the egg shell is getting kind of thin, but... Okay, and then Alt E, Rude, Edges, and I'll move it on the Z axis straight down. Scale, E, Zero, so now they're flat, and press F to create a face. That's good to go. Um, I could be up. Now I need to move this up. Not a big deal. Okay. Now let's just check it out in Unity. Make sure everything still looks good. I like that. Okay, so I think that means that we're done with the modeling. Not too bad. I think I had to basically relearn, or not relearn, I had to learn Blender, but it took three days. Not, I'm pretty happy. But, of course, we still have a lot of work to do. I need to color it, um, rig it, and then animate it. And not, it's not to mention on the Unity side we'll, where we'll probably have to write some shaders and everything. But uh, that's the fun part. Oops. Okay, so... Oh, perfect timing, actually. But I guess um, next I'll do texturing... And that's usually my least favorite part of the modeling process, but I found a cool new um, technique by a Twitter user um, named, uh, oh, my mind's went blank, oh, Minions Art. She uh, has a cool way to do it that you don't actually have to draw textures, you basically just use um, gradients and then move the UVs around on the gradients. And I like it because you kind of bake the color into the model itself instead of having to go to a separate texture file and everything. So I might try that out. I don't know how well it will work with the um, spots I want to make on the egg because I'd have to actually model those spots in here and that would be kind of difficult while keeping these vertices clean. So we might have to have a little bit of traditional texturing. We'll see. Um. But yeah, I'll show that next stream and we'll get started on that technique. But yeah, I think that's all for me for tonight. Uh, thanks everybody for coming by and watching and also for the two hosts. Thanks again, uh, uh, Randall Ray and Steph the Kitty Cat. I really appreciate it. And um, oh yeah, if you want... To catch up on any of my streams, I'll upload all of them to YouTube, and so you can check out my channel there. And also, if you want to be notified when I go live next, you can follow me here on Twitch or on Twitter. I'll post a tweet there letting you know. Um, I also have a Discord if you'd like to chat with me and other viewers during the day. I'm sure we'd all love to have you there. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. Oh, if you want to get links to all those type exclamation point discord youtube or twitter into chat or check out my video and channel description i will be sure to post them there and um flipping. but until tomorrow um at about 8 30 eastern um, i guess we'll have to take a break and that's it for me for tonight i hope you all have a great day Bye bye